So as we look at the differences of these, I mentioned before some of the slight differences, but SOAP, we're looking at XML over HTTPS. When we talk about REST, it's JSON over HTTPS. That's one of the things that makes uh, uh, REST APIs really easy to work with. It's very simple. Uh, gRPC, slightly different. Uh, is actually working with something called Protobufs, which is another Google creation, uh, over HTTP2. Uh, we're seeing gRPC used mostly on internal APIs. So as uh, organizations are building out microservices, they're using gRPC for those internal communications. Um, just because of the cost benefits that you get with gRPC, some of the control that you have around it. Uh, but interestingly, we are finding more and more companies that are actually exposing gRPC out to the end. Um, there was a great article that was just recently published uh, around Microsoft Teams and how Teams actually switched from a REST based to a gRPC API. And the reason they did it was because the amount of data that they transfer back and forth, they were able to get pretty significant uh, performance improvements by switching to gRPC. Um, so this is something that we actually just added support for um, pretty recently. I'm not going to go into detail into this session today, uh, but this is something that I will cover in a follow-up session as well. Uh, last but not least, there's GraphQL. From a prot protocol basis, it's a little bit of a hybrid. It has GraphQL schema definition language, which is really its own proprietary format. It's very JSON-esque. Um, and then the responses are coming back in JSON, and this is served over HTTPS. Uh, we support GraphQL today with some limitations, um, so I just want to make that out, known out there. Uh, we do have customers that are using GraphQL in, in production today, and they are protecting it with the Cloud Graph 